Hey, what's up guys? The Strong Boys 19 here. I haven't made a video for four weeks and I was planning to do an update video, but I didn't have a lot of time until I heard the news about one of the world's greatest musicians being reported about some big devastation. This is my tribute video to B.B. King. And also, today's five years since Ronnie James Dio had passed, but it's just a really big shame of what happens to Dio. But this isn't about Dio, this is about B.B. King. So here we go. B.B. King, one of my top favorite influences from my guitar playing. And this happened yesterday. I woke up, got out of bed, looking through Facebook and YouTube, you know, normal stuff, besides guitar playing. And then I came across the news and Facebook posts on BB King. And when I have seen those posts, I was into a big, deep shock. And I couldn't even, even think about what just happened. And I ended up really speechless. I didn't talk much yesterday. And I listened, jammed, and watching a lot of stuff from B.B. King. And if you have not checked out Live at the Regal, definitely check it out. I strongly, strongly recommend it. One of B.B. King's finest recordings ever. But anyways... I just never thought another musician would lose a battle of any illness. But B.B. King has been hospitalized in Las Vegas and he lost the battle from diabetes. And it really, really became just a big tragedy. To me, because I do idolize BB King. One of the things that I love about BB King is that he can bring any blues song completely fantastic with pure emotion. Not just in the studio, but at a lot of his live performances. Like, for example, he can play one of his most popular songs. And he would at some point quieten down the band, like turn down the volume and stuff and play quieter. And at some point he would raise the bar up and make the music completely explosive with louder music and with B.B. King's strong, fantastic vocals that completely captures the audience. And from his fantastic guitar playing and licks with his iconic vibrato. And I do love how B.B. King does have his own very strong gift and talent. And he's definitely very inspiring for other musicians as well. Not just from a lot of blues musicians, but from any musician in general. He's been inspiring to musicians like... Stevie Ray Vaughan, Jimi Hendrix, Eric Clapton, and many others. And he's been so damn great from the way that he can portray his own skill and talent to, to the crowd. He's one of the most important musicians ever. And he is in the top five of my favorite blues guitarists ever. Because I do love B.B. King that badly. So anyways, really, really bad news about B.B. King. I just, just couldn't believe it. So he's definitely up there for one of my favorite guitarists as well, besides many others that inspired me for the blues. For examples, like Stevie Ray Vaughan, Jimi Hendrix, and there's also 
uh, Robert Johnson, Muddy Waters, Albert Collins, Peter Green, Danny Kerwin, and tons more. There's just a mouthful of blues players that I love, and B.B. King is one of them. So, that's just really all I've got to say about the whole thing uh, as a tribute, excuse me, to B.B. King. At the age of 89, and God bless you, B.B. King, definitely a blues legend, and he will always always be the king of the blues thank you guys for watching and in the next video is going to be um, my new update so stay tuned for that and thanks for watching